Hello Capricorn, I am here to offer you a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, so this reading, this story could apply to anyone who has Capricorn strongly in their chart. It is up to you to decide if this is your story or not. Um, but I am just um, a messenger, messenger here bringing the story, story forward. Uh, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are this moment. You're welcome here and I'm happy to have you. Let's see um, what is here in your current energy, Capricorn. Current energy, current energy for Capricorn. Current energy for Capricorn, please. Current energy for Capricorn. Current energy for Capricorn. All right, what is in the future energy? What is Capricorn stepping into in the next seven to 10 days? What is Capricorn stepping into in the next seven to 10 days? What is Capricorn stepping into in the next seven to 10 days, please? What is Capricorn stepping into in the next seven to 10 days? What is Capricorn stepping into in the next seven to 10 days? Remember, this is just a, a couple of weeks of, um, of time, Capricorn, so um, please uh, remember that. We are looking at um, just a short period of time here, just a short period of time, the immediate um, next energy that you're stepping into. All right, I think I have this story. Might be one more card that wants to come out. There's one more energy in here. There we go. Okay. Let's look at the guidance now. Let's look at the guidance coming forward for Capricorn. Guidance for Capricorn, please. Guidance for Capricorn. Guidance for Capricorn. Okay, let's start with the current energy. Um, we do have a Queen of Cups here. We have a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy. Um, it is a feminine energy, which which tells me that this person um, is, is here. I, I believe, Capricorn, I believe this is a person. Um, it's probably you. It's, it's going to depend. This reading, I'm kind of not committing yet. I'm not quite sure. Um, let me get deeper into this energy. This is a person um, who is working on um, their own self-awareness of, of what brings them happiness and joy. Um, I think this is you, Capricorn. I really do. I think this is you working on your own self-love, your own self-awareness, making changes in your life now to um, bring in emotional fulfillment, um, love of self, um, a radiant energy of love and nurturing, um, stability in love, um, understanding how to fill your own cup, how to um, find emotional fulfillment and emotional bliss within yourself. Um, there is something in your environment that you're working to create more stability, more financial freedom, more financial stability in your life. Um, you are waiting on something here you could be waiting you're you're waiting it's an energy of waiting or taking a break on doing something it's an energy of waiting or taking a break focusing on inner healing here inner strengthening self-love first and then um you're going to focus here on um creating this in your outer world making changes to bring stability um, to bring abundance, to bring um, a firm foundation to your to your world. So you're going through a transformation right now um, for this group of Capricorns. We see some upcoming action. The King of Pentacles, um, we see some upcoming action here. There is going to be a need to grab onto something and, and begin to take, to go to work very soon. I think you kind of, in a way, know what this is, Capricorn. I think you know what this is, but 
Um, right now you're investing in self or you're waiting for something. You could be waiting for a job um, to, you could be waiting to hear about a new job. You could be waiting to hear about an investment that you made into a business or into something here that you invested. You gave something away. You, you invested something here. It could have cost you money. It could have cost you time. You could have left a job. Um, you are investing right now towards something that's bringing you emotional fulfillment. And I think you're finding that and you're waiting to have it um, really begin to manifest in your outer world. Um, you could have paid for a class or went to a retreat or, invent, or you're investing in a new career or you're investing in your education. You're investing here something that's bringing you emotional fulfillment and something um, that brings you quite a lot of healing and self-nourishment and you now you're in a place where you're waiting here and investing for some kind of result to begin to happen in your in your environment around you okay so that's where this group of capricorn people are okay in their in their experience so i'm going to take this and move it over to the side let's look at um, what's coming in towards you there's quite a lot here um, so let me go ahead and lay out these energies as they came in. Wow, Cappies. So I have the Three of Swords in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse. The Two of Wands is over the top of an Ace of Wands. The Four of Pentacles is in reverse. There is new inspiration here and there's a transformation and divine connection here. Prayer, meditation, connecting to source energy. This is building trust. This is about trusting your team. This is about trusting your own inner strength, your own power of your own self, the power of heart, the power of inspiration, the power of love. Um, the next couple of weeks, you're going to begin to feel the pain that has been around you to begin to fall away. Um, there is a choice here. That's almost in a way being taken from you. There's an old way of life. There's an old choice that's being taken from you. It's falling away from you. And there's a new powerful beginning coming in here. You've had to let go of everything, Capricorn. You've had to let go of everything here. You've had to surrender. These, this is the energy of transformation. We do have transformation here with the death energy, transformation, Scorpio energy. But you've had to let go of everything as you're moving into the future here. You're um, uh, One of the options that's before you is sort of falling away as you gain in health, as you overcome this pain, this struggle from the past. And there's a lot of falling off, falling away, pain falling away burdens falling away and there's new passion new passion <laughs> passion it's a new word it's a blending of passion and action <laughs> there's new passion here um passion and action that's springing up in a profoundly um fiery way um this fire, this flame that has been growing within you, that's been healing here, this vitality, this inner self, this core of self, the DNA of who you are, the roots of who you are, the soul of who you are, the eternal being of who you are, has been um, blossoming within you. And um, in the next couple of weeks or the next several weeks here, there's a new fiery 
energy that you will be in where you're going to be taking new action in your life. Um, the pain and the struggle over some kind of choice that you've had to make in your life, um, you're, you're going to be letting go, letting go of something that you've been holding on to for a very long period of time that ultimately has been causing you quite a lot of pain and anguish, sorrow, hurt, confusion. You're moving forward in this journey and moving into a much more healed place. You're coming in out of the battle. Um, there's new inspiration here. There could be a new job. There could be a new introduction of someone new. There could be a Scorpio um, coming into your um, into your into your life. There could be a new job, um, a new apology coming in here. Something happening here with this Page of Cups that is bringing um, some kind of passion and new action here. Tell us more about this Ace of Wands, please. There is a new turnaround of some kind of battle that you've been um, fighting here. There's victory here. There is a complete change. There is a second chance. There is a major decision here. Major consequences coming in from some kind of battle that you have been in. So there's victory. There's an overcoming of this. Um, however you end this situation, I think you're just dropping away from it. You're falling away from it. You're surrendering away from it. You're stepping away from it. And as you do, as you disconnect from it, um, it could feel a little selfish to disconnect, but it's in for your own best interest. Five of Swords can sometimes be a little, you could feel a little guilty with the Five of Swords. I don't think you should. I don't think you should. It could be some harmful energy that's around you because there's a second chance at something. There's a great and powerful change coming in connected to this Ace of Wands, right? It's connected to this Ace of Wands here. Let's um, look at this Page of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Cups, please. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Eight of Wands. There is um, some messages that are coming in. They haven't been sent yet. They haven't started the happening yet. Um, as soon as you let go, as soon as you let go of this, surrender to this, um, come in out of the battle here, there are some new actions that are going to begin to take place with this Page of Cups. This Page of Cups might come in and force the Page of Cups might come in very powerfully and quickly and in a way encourage you or begin the, the momentum of surrendering into something new, letting go of the old, something new is coming in quite quickly. Um, I think the way this comes in, the way the energy feels as this Page of Cups comes in, this message of love and inspiration, this new introduction or new energy, new apology, new revival, whatever this is for you, it comes in and the message of it comes in, it forces you to exit. It is almost like this page of cups uh, sweeps away an old energy that's been lingering around you or old opportunity or an old job or an old relationship or an old way of thinking or an old cycle that you've been in. Something new comes in and pushes out. It's a gift. You know, sometimes the aces are gifts. You know, this is this is truly a gift from your team. It, it sweeps something old away or allows you to let go of something old here that you've been clinging on that you've been clinging on to. High priestess. There's a secret here. There's a secret knowing or a person here that is internally very spiritual, very spiritual, very divinely guided, very powerful wisdom. This is a quieter person, very intuitive, um, can be a male or a female. There, there is something here that is under the radar, under the radar that's coming in. Empress with the Five of Wands. Why 
is the Empress with the Five of Wands here, connected to the High Priestess. Something has been blocking this internal... Um, something has been blocking this from coming in in the in the in the past something has been blocking the revival um the creative nurturing energy that's within you something has been blocking that and this high priestess energy this internally divine powerfully wise intuitive person is going to send in some kind of opportunity or messages or something here is going to come in and help push this old this old situation out it's going to help heal it's going to help push it out it's going to help nudge you forward in whatever this journey is why is the death energy here why is the death energy here please why is the death energy here Manifesting a brand new future here, working on a brand new project or new, um, new adventure, new life, new reality, coming in quickly, coming in quickly with the chariot energy. Um, the, the magician talks about using all four elements to be successful. So this is having the clarity of where you're going, the clarity of your situation, what your role has been. Um, where, where, um, what brings you, um, contentedness and balance, um, having the, the love for oneself and the love, um, for the environment, the love for the space around you, but more than anything is having love for yourself, knowing how precious you are in a very real way, not just saying the words, but truly in an energetic way, knowing how beautiful, how profoundly necessary you are to have in this world right now, um, of understanding that in the fullest capacity um, and, and continuing to build that flame of desire, um, the, the, the flame of the passion that can help push you forward, um, and then to take necessary actions to engage in this all of these elements are are being um, brought into your into your future so that this new action, this new job, this new relationship, whatever this is for you um, will come in and it will and it is being brought forward in a very powerful way by this chariot energy. Um, transformation. it's a transformative energy. so there is a, a powerful transformation happening here um, for this group of Capricorns. All right, we are in, are we not, um, the, the, the Capricornian time um, right now. So this makes a lot of sense that there is some major transformation going on for this group of Capricorns. Um, at, in the extended reading, I'll take a break when I'm done with this reading. I'll take a little break and come back and dig much deeper into some of these energies. I'm certainly going to dig into the um, Ace of Wands here and the Page of Cups. Um, I'll clarify more on that as we as we move forward. Let's look at what the guidance is here. Let's look at what the guidance is here for these Capricorn um, people. What is the guidance here? Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in the upright. I just think whatever option or whatever that you have been holding on to that hasn't been working, that's been painful um, in the next month or so, in the next upcoming period of time, there's going to be some new action that's going to take place that's going to push you out of some kind of focus that you've had. It's, it's going to allow this old focus, this old lane that you've been in. It's this energy from this wheel of fortune here is going to push you into a new lane. So it's going to take your steering wheel of your car and it's going to um, change lanes. It's going to have you uh, move to the left or move to the right in one way or another. Um, there, there is a new, there are new options coming in for you, new momentum, new, um, 
um, pathways that are opening up for you very soon. It's all connected to this divine guidance. It's all connected to this new inspiration, this new connection that's being made. It's all connected to that, and it's moving forward powerfully into the future here with the Wheel of Fortune. Could be another idea coming in, or another business idea, or another job, or some kind of inheritance coming in. And with the Wheel of Fortune, but this is definitely new momentum, new movement. Um, the wheel is turning now into a new era, into a new genre, into a new um, life path, into a new relationship. Uh, the wheel of fortune is turning. And whatever you've been focusing on the past, see, you've only earned one pinnacle here. You've only made one pinnacle. You've only secured one pinnacle. It's being secured here by this table. The rest of these pentacles have been out of reach. And I think whatever's coming in is going to help allow these pentacles to drop away. You're going to lift your head up. You're going to look around you and see the possibilities and the potentials that are going to come in for you. What is this? Please tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Please tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune. Please tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Swords, Fool, Queen of Swords in reverse. So it's the end of this continual battle you've been having, where you've been having to protect yourself. You've been having to be the bad guy. You've been having to fight a battle that's not winnable. It's a, it's, it's like you, you've felt like this for a while now, where you've been fighting something, but, um, in the process of it, you've been losing yourself. You've been losing who you are. You've been losing your passion. You've been um, losing your sense into your own control of your own reality. And there is something new coming in here that is going to bring some new journey or something new in for you with a full energy. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, please? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, please? Why does the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, please? Page of Pentacles. In reverse, Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. There is some kind of new change coming in. There's a new offer being brought forward. A new, could be a new job, a new business opportunity, new money, a new gift, new inheritance, new relationship. Whatever it is, it's going to improve your journey. It's going to bring in um, a, um, a firmness to your foundation. It's going to allow some enjoyment of life. It's going to allow you to look through a different lens, a lens of more stability, a lens of financial um, stability and financial freedom. Tell us why this Seven of Cups is here. Please tell us why the Seven of Cups is here, please. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Knight of Cups, offer of love, energy of love, something, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, could be an offer coming in that you're going to need to decide on, Ace of Swords, some kind of communication here, probably from a water energy, from somebody who's very romantic, heart, heart, um, Warming, generous, could be somewhat shy, could be a secret admirer. There's a communication coming in here about your options for the future. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is coming out again. You could have a feeling of selfishness around this offer. Um, like you're giving up on someone else's battle or you're jumping ship. Um, you're moving your focus from someone else to yourself. 
Um, there could be a little bit of a battle around this energy. Yeah, we have the judgment energy with the page of swords. There is some new offer or some new energy that you're stepping into or that's coming towards you. It's the same watery energy as the page of cups. Um, it's coming forward with some kind of a message or, or a decision or um, some kind of offer here. And I, and I try not to use the word offer too much because it's a very, um, the word offer to me, it's a, it's an energy of sitting back and thinking something's going to just come in magically. Um, and I know a lot of the times that's not the way life works. We have to take action. We have to step forward. We have to make changes in our trajectory, right? But in this case, you're connecting in here with something, um, really beautiful, really, beautiful and loving and it's it's something that's it's it's an answer it's an answer for you um it, it has an energy of a little bit of selfishness here so you're gonna have to maybe exit out of a situation or jump off somebody's ship or leave a job or something where you feel like maybe you you have a sense of guilt about that but honestly here this is a second chance of something that's just right for you that's just perfect for you it's going to give you the chance to learn and be a student again and um, it's it's going to be a little bit of an uneasy energy. It's it's going to be a little bit of an uneasy energy here. Is the the but but it's just right for you. It's it's an answer for you. It's energy of love. It's what you've been working on here with the Queen of Cups. It's what you've been working on. It's a ch it's second chance at that. It's it's a completely um, new start here that that could be yours, Capricorn. All right, I am going to take a break and I'll move into the extended. In the extended, I am going to um, look at the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at this reverse King of Pentacles just to see if we can get a little bit more information out of that energy. See, maybe if that's a person, I think it's work that you're you're going to be going into action very soon, but I want to dig in to see who, maybe this is a person here. Um, or, or whatever this King of Pentacles energy, what more I can drag out of it. I'm going to go into that energy. Um, I'm going to, let me see here. I'm going to go into this Ace of Swords energy here and the King of Cups energy. And I definitely want to go into this Ace of Wands energy. So I'm going to do this in this order. Page of Cups. Okay, so when I'm done going into deeper into these energies, going down these rabbit holes, um, I am going to look at the people who are around you, Capricorn, and see what their intentions are. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look deeper into the King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, this love energy and this ace of swords. These are the energies I'm going to look deeper into. When I'm done with that, um, I'm going to look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. All right. Thank you very much, Capricorn. It is always a pleasure to read for you. I wish you the very best in this last week um, of the last year, of the last month, of the last year of the decade. I wish you a wonderful week and a beautiful new beginning. Thank you, beautiful friends.